Yo, yo, good morning. Huh, yeah, yeah. It has been, and I realize I don't say this often, and I really should. And that's because the vlogs be chopped up, but welcome to a new vlog. It's been a while. I got back from Orlando two weeks ago, and I haven't picked up the vlog camera since. And part of it was because I was tired. The other part of it was I didn't feel like there was much to talk about. But I was really just tired. Yeah, that, that vacation was so relaxing in the best way that when I came back, I was just like, yeah, I don't feel like it. You feel me? And now here we are. I just got to the gym. And I don't want to use the same word again, but I do feel sleepy. I, I'm not going to say tired. I'm going to say sleepy. I just feel sleepy, you know? I just like, what? Summer is about over, okay? About over. School's starting soon, and it's like, wait, what? And when I look at my September, I'm just, again, like, what? I literally printed out a blank September calendar and then I put lines, different color lines, to show when I'll be where. And I'm just like, wow. I just can't even believe it. September is so full because Women Evolve, I signed up at the end of the conference last year because I was determined. I said, no, no matter what happens, I'll be here and I'm going to I'm gonna go, right? And I had already gotten my hotel back at that time too because hotels flip fast. Although, I don't know what's going on with Women Evolve, but they added another day for Inner Circle, which we signed up for because we recognized that you just get more perks and it's just more fun to sit closer and do a few more things, meet Sarah in person, that kind of thing. So then recently they added an extra day. So it doesn't begin on Thursday. Inner Circle begins on Wednesday. And it's like, wait, what? It's like they just snuck it in. So the reason why I say that hotels may not be sold out is because when we saw that there was an extra day, I went to the same hotel site to add add on another day and I was able to add on another day and perhaps it's because it's well before the actual event so anyway that's at the end of September and then there's LTK con which I was invited to I'm so excited I don't know much about it I just started going hard on LTK last year so a year ago and then from then till now to be invited to LTK con is just insane I'm blown away grateful dumbfounded the whole nine yards so i'm just like wait what so ltk con is in september that's also in dallas it's probably six days before women evolve and i'm like dang i should be living in dallas for all this dallas stuff and then new york fashion week is the week before ltk con and i was in fashion week in february it was a lot of fun and i literally was just driving and i'm like yo remember how i went and got an iv last year when i had two trips planned that were very long it was jamaica and antigua and i remember i came and i got an iv but i don't remember the drip you feel me that gives you all kind of whatever i don't remember it i couldn't i couldn't point out that yes this worked i felt this or no i didn't feel anything i could not point that out so i was just driving and i'm like should i get an iv in september somehow to help me because I distinctly remember being at my wits end at fashion week in February and my understanding is that this September one is it just holds no bars to February it's just maybe 10 times more busy and the goal is to be where you can and for me to come out of my introversion and to smile and be on and to just show up takes so much energy from me that I found myself so freaking tired what on the third day the third day I didn't even go to where I was supposed to go remember that if you watched my vlog I didn't go I did not go to any of the things that I was supposed to go to I was done I just couldn't even fathom the idea of putting on makeup I was so done I felt pissed off and not pissed off at anybody. I was just so pissed off that I was so tired. That's how I felt. So now I'm like, oh man, what am I gonna do to help myself this time around? I mean, if you have any suggestions, let me know because you might, I'm thinking, okay, caffeine, but no, I don't I don't know that that's gonna, I mean, is that my option? I was just so freaking tired and I don't wanna hire someone to do my makeup because I've only had my makeup done by someone one time and that was because I was on set for a campaign in LA and they hired someone and I didn't even like what she did. It, was like, it wasn't even a full face of makeup. It was, I don't know what the hell. Okay, it was for the campaign. Like, you know what I mean? It's just, it was for that. It wasn't a glam session. So it's, it's different kind of makeup, you feel me? It, it wasn't what I normally do. So I can't even say, oh, if I hire someone to do my makeup, that can give me some rest. But no, because I'm doing makeup every single day. That's not gonna work out. It's just my body was so freaking spent that I, I just need to figure out a way to get myself together. Is it vitamin? Isn't it the same thing? If it's a whole bunch of vitamins, isn't that what the drip does? And the drip goes into your bloodstream. I had to think out loud because that was the first time I ever done it. It goes into your bloodstream, so it hits your body faster. And doesn't it, isn't it more potent? So wouldn't I just go and get a drip? Is there one for energy? What do people? I just want to know what. Not that I know anyone to ask. What do celebrities in? Well, celebrities. 
because if even if you're a national newscaster or news host, you're a celebrity, right? If you see uh, who, if you see Don Lemon, he's a celebrity. If you see Chris Cuomo, he's a celebrity. Sometimes I'm trying to think, what do celebrities do to be on every day, to be on all the time, to maintain their energy? They must be getting drips. Like Sarah, I know she's getting a drip back there at that stage, oh, in her hotel room. She gotta be. How do you just be on all the time? Pastors, anybody. Maybe I should go. Now I'm thinking to myself out loud. Maybe I didn't need, maybe I didn't need, maybe I didn't need to go and sign up and get me a drip. Good God. Maybe I should. I wonder if that'll help because that's a full month. So would I get the drip but days before I go? Because Fashion Week, I got to be there on the 4th. So maybe the 1st, I go get a drip. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. It's worth a shot just to see. Okay, that's my thought right now. I'm about to go to the gym. I want to get my coffee because the coffee settles my stomach. You feel what I'm saying? That's just what I do. I don't drink coffee to give me energy. I drink it because of the flavor. <laughs> and also because the warmth, it just settles my tummy. Helps me to fast. Oh, let's tell you luck it. Looking good, mama. Yes, honey. Okay, so yeah, that's that's what's on my mind right now. I just have not been vlogging. I had a whole, I got a whole bunch of PR packages in. Did I tell you? I don't know if I told you. <laughs> there are a lot of things you just don't tell on the vlog. Hello, duh. I my packages were stolen. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of packages stolen, and I don't know what was in them. And I keep on saying, look, okay, so sometimes a lot of creators will get the same stuff, which is nice. So I'll look at people's unboxings and be like, oh, I never got that. I never got that. I wonder if that was part of what was stolen. You feel what I'm saying? But I don't actually know what was stolen. I had a coach, a pair of coach sandals that I actually ended up rebuying. And you may have seen it. It's the white ones that I wore in Orlando. They're so cute. They're thick platformed, one something. I ended up rebuying that. But because that was the purchase that I purchased but it was mainly PR stuff that was stolen and I don't even know what was in them because it's PR so you don't know what you got until it gets here anyway like whatever so yesterday I picked up my packages oh I gotta get some stuff from Shop Koi yo I okay a lot of things I my mind is racing because I, I just feel like I have so many things to do and it's overwhelming to me because even when it comes to fashion week I'm not a fashion fashion is not my top niche it's not something that I wake up and think about, but makeup is, beauty is, because that's what I, that's my main judge, you feel what I'm saying? So when it comes to fashion, I find myself having to think hard about putting outfits together, as opposed to beauty, it's like what? So when it comes to fashion week being new for me, it's like, oh my god, what am I supposed to wear? Where do I shop? What do I do? What do I, what do I piece together? I just be feeling like, oh my god. And then I got a work phone, so now you see two phones, right? I never had two phones. I got a work phone because I was finding myself missing out on opportunities to create short form content because I didn't have another phone because this phone I like to keep open and available for my personal stuff and then it would hinder me from being like oh let me capture this or oh let me sit in my car and discuss this or what have you then on my personal phone I have a lot of content that is just personal to me so if I were to create a bunch of stories or take pictures or create whatever yeah stories on here I would find myself not posting it, not doing anything with it because it's mixed into all kind of personal things. So I was like, you know what? I need to get another phone. I need to get another phone. I just have to get another phone. So now I have this phone that is only on Wi-Fi. There's no need for a phone number. I'm not getting phone calls on this. It's only on Wi-Fi. And then I have on here only stuff that is for content when I'm using my phone. Because you know me, I like to use my DSLR. I, I feel more joy. I feel excited to, motivated to create content when I'm using my DSLR, not when I'm using my phone. But the phone is ancillary because some things I don't mind creating on my phone. You feel what I'm saying? Like sometimes, yeah, this is just more on the go. You feel me? And I be getting so confused. I be like, okay, this is the content I want to create. What device should I use? Because you know I have, what, four cameras? I be like, okay, what camera? Do I use a camera? Do I use my phone? What do I do? You feel, it just be like, it be a lot of tense. And if you ever encounter this, if you're a creator, comment and let me know. It's not just me. It can't be just me. It's just dark. I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. And I never open this up. You know why? Because I like to feel incognito i actually would prefer to have 360 10 we're ta we're we're tackling a lot of topics we're tackling a lot of topics in this conversation and even this see all kind of sun how sun damage i want to protect my skin so that's also not going to work 
so I have two phones and I'm learning how to carry two phones so <laughs> it's like what but it is it's, it's a it's a cool tin mm, it's a cool tin if you have two phones let me know Revolve got some cute out like this is a cute dress like do I buy this for an event I feel like I need to you see what I'm saying it's just so many things and then I'm I'm, I'm literally having to write down every event and then break down what's happening at these events so that I can get outfits for these things and that's an expense you feel me like and I <laughs> you say yes to these events and you got to think also about getting ready and being prepared for these events you feel me you gotta you gotta buy stuff you feel what I'm saying and I mean praise the lord I got some flyer miles I used that a few times I got I have some more I'm gonna go back and look because I gotta get my flight one two one two it's just so many i'm thinking out loud praise your heart praise the lord praise the lord for me being here and listening was that turks and Kate? i knew it i know turks and i see it in the water <laughs> it's so cute some nice and turks praise the lord yeah so it's just like a whole tin i just said it's a whole tin if you're gonna be a fashion with your creator come and let me know i want to know and secondly what are some brands you like to shop at you know any suggestion this is so cute this is so cute that's a cute outfit i need that yo it just be all kind of tins it just be all kind of tins that's all i can say all i can say is that it be all kind of tins and now i'm distracted i wonder if people feel more confident posting on social when they take away the likes because they don't care or feel moved by few likes that's got to be it. Because I'll see some posts and look, this is so cute. And I'll be like, wait, why is something missing? The likes are missing. Maybe that just makes them feel better. I've contemplated that. But then you'll have some campaigns where they say specifically, do not hide likes. The reason why I don't do it for my organic, because I just be feeling like, is that, am I going to get too used to not seeing likes that when I post a campaign and then I see them, is it going to be jarring to me? So I just keep it on and I just, I really just don't be, look, she looks gorgeous. Yes, wow. I just be keeping it on. I just be like, screw this. Listen. Oh, and my video on uh, my my surgery update and some glutide. Thank you for the. Uh, well, I haven't looked in a while, so there's been some some shady stuff. I don't know, huh? Because I gotta protect myself with somebody's comments to be too much. Thank you for the the support because it's important for me. I can't discuss anyone else. It's important for me to feel comfortable enough to share Wagwan with limits because obviously not everything is for social media you, you recognize that whatever i have not discussed is because it's not because it's, it's, it's because it's not for social media just period you know not everything is fodder for the internet but when it comes to that i was happy to share and i have been itching to share because sometimes i wanted to i wanted to speak on it but then i'd be like i haven't even told them yet i can't even comment on this and now i can just comment on it because i already showed you and what i was waiting for was to get to a point where i had enough like i had a big enough a drastic enough result to share i wanted this to be drastic not just like oh i've been doing it for two weeks like what i wanted it to be so obvious that whoa she looks different and then also too to see how i'm healing and stuff to be able to share so i'm glad i was i'm glad that i've already shared that and then you saw the vlogs yo i don't know what i was doing how i how i ended up messing up the dosage i'm irritated but yesterday for instance was a dosage day and i was i'm still doing the 0.25 but see the 0.25 has remained the same but the concoction has changed i'm not a physician i don't know how to explain that to you but anyway the concoction has changed but if you are thinking about doing it girl do you do you and go find somewhere to sit where down because who cares if you are healthy and able to do it do what you want to do because you know me i'm always going to do what i want to do she is so fit that is what i want thick fit ripped stacked hard I, I weighed myself today and i'm 175 i i, I lost 1.1 pounds i'm like okay and i weigh myself in the morning too because hello i don't need any i don't need any air in my body before i get on the scale <laughs> so uh 1.1 pound down i'm like okay and i saw that i'm 101 of my pounds is muscle i was like oh what does that mean is that a good thing i mean i know that i'm a solid woman hello i'm not a flimsy flamsy flanker kind of woman i'm a very hard hard <laughs> I'm a very hard woman ah you know what I'm talking about mm? yo I'm so distracted I'm irritated I need to get up and go to the gym you see this this is so dumb hey man now what do you use for your hypopigmentation on the body oh I should do a video on that shouldn't I oh I have so many ideas I should do a video on that hyperpigmentation on the body because yes 
Okay, I'll, I'll answer it now that we're because you're gonna be like, well, what do I do? Okay, so there are a few things. There are wipes, like for instance, the doctor, Dr. Dennis Gross, mind you, link right here to a QR code that you can scan with your phone if you're watching this on the TV or your or your iPad or laptop. Otherwise, LTK where you can you can find all of the things that I discuss all the time. You can even search certain things, like you can search Panoxyl or Estee Lauder or high heels. You feel me? You can search platform heels or a spring dress, whatever. You can search in my LTK. So download the app and then follow me on LTK because you will get updates whenever I post and then you can heart actual pictures where you can get reminders and or emails when stuff is in stock, out of stock, that kind of thing. You want to be there because sometimes stuff sells out. You don't want to miss it. Okay. So LTK, here's the QR code that you can scan or it's linked to my in the description box down below. So for instance, you can use Dr. Dennis Gross wipes or any wipes that have salicylic acid in it and or AHA. So salicylic acid is a BHA, beta hydroxy acid. It penetrates more deeply into the skin and it will lighten and smooth rough, roughness. AHA is going to just penetrate the top layer of skin, not as invasive, not as strong. Good if you want to start slow, good if you're concerned. Either way, it'll still work just a little bit slower. That's an AHA. So glycolic acid, for instance, is an AHA. BHA, for instance, would be a salicylic acid. So you can do any form of that in terms of wipes or a scrub or a, a scrub will be more, it's a manual idea, so maybe it works a little bit faster. So for instance, Panoxyl is an acne face wash. I talk about this all the time and it's so good, that's why. I get the 10% one, which is maximum. So you can put that, oh, I just spit. <laughs> You can put that on your face for your acne. It's also gonna smooth out roughness on your face in addition to clearing out your pores, clearing out the bacteria in your pores, okay? You can do that on your body as well. Let's say that you have back acne or chest acne or butt acne, okay? Clogged pores, use the panoxyl, rub it around, let it sit a little bit if you want to and then rinse it off and then that's going to clear that out in addition to lightening dark spots because the active ingredient in that specific product, and I'm saying that because it's, it's, it's a drugstore product, it's not expensive, it's what, 10 bucks? It's going to, like I said, penetrate the skin, clear out the bacteria, smooth out the roughness, and lighten the dark spots, okay? You can do, uh, I've done vitamin C, products as well because vitamin c does light and dark spots there's so many things and whenever i talk and i slow down it's because even as i'm saying i'm sweating bless god i turned on my uh the fan because i wanted oh jesus it's overheating wow you're overheating mm? i turned on the fan because i didn't want it to be causing noise okay quickly yeah so let's just stop there let's just stop there i want to confuse you just grab that Okay, grab that and then use that a few times a week and see how that's working. But it's definitely a continue to do this type thing. And then you want to avoid injury to the skin. So the question for me would be, where is the dark spot? Is it on your armpits? Are your armpits dark? Because if you're shaving and that's causing injury to your skin and then that's turning into a dark spot after the irritation is there, well, then we got to tackle something different. Maybe you don't shave anymore. Maybe you, maybe you wax or perhaps you will laser. You feel what I'm saying? So you want to attack what's causing the dark spots in addition to attacking the dark spots or the darkness once it's already there i hope that was clear if not comment let me know but this is overheating so let me turn this off Good morning. Can we talk about the way I was awoken from the bed today? Just irritated. This is a leftover Fenty body cream with body situation that I have. Yo, I was awoken from the bed in such a traumatic way. I, I just, I'm so pissed. Okay. So it was about five something in the morning and I always play worship music that I actually pause right now because copyright. So I use the African gospel playlist on Apple iTunes. And I love it because it plays me music from all different African countries. And I just love it. I just be learning new songs. I love it. I love to hear the worship. I love to hear the word of God while I'm at home. I mean, all times, but certainly just in the background at home, I love it. So I always have that on. So if I get up mid middle of the night, and I hear music, I know where it's coming from. It's the same songs again and again, and I've been playing it for months on end, really. But when I woke up, it wasn't to the sound of music, like the movie, it was to the sound of crying. 
at least what it sounded like to me, it sounded like crying. So I look and I'm looking on the right side of my house thinking, is it coming from the right side? I look to the left, I'm like, it's coming from the left side? Where's it coming from? And I realized it's coming from the left side. So I'm like, is somebody in my backyard? What is that noise? Why, who's, who's trying? Oh my God, I grab my phone, I go look and oh, just, just, if you like cats, you're gonna be offended. Just get ready. Everyone has their own, what they like and don't like. I absolutely don't like, do not like cats and I'll get into it. So I open the blind and I peek out and I see that there are three cats. One small-ish one is on the chair, the patio chair. And then there's one tan brown, orange, not so much orange, but tan brown-ish one that's on the ground. And then a dark, maybe black and gray one that's a little further away. And I'm looking and I'm like, the cat is making this noise. I'm to Where's my phone? The damn cat was making this sound. I mean, this cannot be real. I'm making some fish. Oh, you can't hear it. You can't hear it because the because I'm cooking. It was like like that. Why is the cat making this noise? And it wasn't an orange one because I was staring like, is the mouth moving? But then I came and I, I adjusted my position and I saw that even the dark one, I didn't see the mouth opening. So I don't even know how the cat was making this noise. I was so grossed out, scared, terrified, irritated, pissed, turned off the whole nine yards. In Ghana, we perceive cats to be demonic, okay? We don't like cats. now. Does that mean that every Ghanaian doesn't like cats? No, some like them, some don't. Some like them, a lot don't, okay? I don't like cats. First of all, I'm allergic, okay? When I was in middle school, my friend had a cat, I went to her house, I had such a bad reaction, I never again, I was like, I'm allergic, number one. And number two, no, don't rub up on me, don't come next to me, and why are you in my back patio? Why are you here? I couldn't believe it, and I just could not believe that they were making all this noise. Why are you being so loud? And what does this noise mean? Why are you even here? Where'd you come from? Yo, I was so, ooh. And then, so I turn off the alarm, right? And I'm like, maybe I can bang on the window or bang on the door, and then they can go. So of course, the alarm has to be off so that I don't trigger the alarm. So I go turn it off, and then I bang on the door. Boom, 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 they just moved. And I go look back at the blinds, they're still there just resting their body. And I'm like, oh my God, how am I gonna get these cats out of here? So I Google how to get cats out of away from your house. And I saw peppermint oil, I don't even know. And I saw mothballs. So I hurriedly, oh shoot, I have to go close my door. So I saw mothballs and I ordered to my Amazon. They'll be here soon. I don't know how effective that'll be, but I just need something because I don't need you to think that this is a place to be. I saw that I can call animal control, but how the hell am I gonna call animal control at five and one, six and one? Like I'm not doing this. And I don't know that they come each night because I've never heard that noise until this morning. Oh my God, that noise, woo! I thought it was a person. I thought it was a baby. I was terrified. That was scary. To be woken up by that sound is scary. What were they doing and why? Who was it? Which cat was making that noise? That's number one. What does that noise mean? Why are you here doing this? What do you want from me? You're not gonna get it. I'm not gonna take care of cats. This is not a cat farm. This is not a cat sanctuary. It ain't any of that. You gotta go. You gotta go back to where the hell you came from. I don't like that. And then early in the morning when the daylight came out, I saw them on the fence and then they finally went somewhere. So I hope that them cats don't think that this is gonna be their evening sanctuary because it ain't gonna be. And when them mothballs come here, I don't even go in the back. I gotta go back and clean that. I gotta clean that back area anyway. When them mothballs come, I'ma scatter them. Yo, this is so annoying. I'ma scatter them all on the patio and I hope that tonight them things don't come back. It's one thing if you came and you were not making those noises, but for you to come here and make those noises, you are disrupting my sleep and you scared me. Was it your intention to terrify me? Because if it was, you did that. And I don't like that. I want you to go and stay away. <sighs> and my brother has cats. He has a cat. He loves his cat. I don't even know where he can. That's what I'm saying. Not every Ganyan doesn't like them. But huh? the vast majority, no. He has a cat. He loves it. He loves his cat for me. And I think Kami even makes those noises. <sighs> what are you doing? No, close your mouth. 
close your mouth, close your diaphragm, close whatever vocal cords you have. Don't come here making them noise, especially at, at five in the morning. I'm not doing this with you. I'm not doing this with you today, and I'm not going to do it with you ever. Yo, that was scary. Okay, today, good morning, afternoon, all those things, by the way. Today was a busy freaking day. I had to finish up content that was due today. I had started it the day, days before, but I didn't finish it, so I had to finish today. And I'm also, so I've been working on that since, I mean, I've been getting ready, and getting ready was part of the process. And I also filmed a YouTube video with a new foundation that I'm wearing right now. I've just been doing so many things today. And I have a lunch date. I have a lunch date and it's with Ashley from Head to Curve. I don't know her personally, I've never met her before. So it'll be the first time and I'm looking forward to it, but I feel bad because I've had such a long day already that just has required so much from me that I feel tired. And I'm like, dang, and I, I, I'm not gonna cancel because I already made the appointment and I'm excited to see her. I'm sure it's one of those things where when I get there, I'll wake up and I'll feel energized. It's just right now, I'm like, oh my God, if I could just go to sleep right now, I would, I would love to be able to do that. I, I, I just, I, I just, ugh! I finished my content. It's still daytime. I feel good. I just hate that I let this second part wait so long because it took so much to do it. And it's, it's just, it, anyway, it's a long story. It doesn't matter. Okay, here I am. Makeup and hair is already done, praise God, because like I said, getting ready was part of me having to do that content. Look at my eyes. I need to buy another Lumify. I have a Lumify in my suitcase, but not over here. I had to touch up my gloss because I oh and I also ate I ate because I was working and not only that I was hungry so I ate at 12 something and this is a lunch so I'm gonna just get a drink <laughs> actually this is not about you it literally is just how my day fell either way here we are praise the lord so yeah I'm just I'm gonna just get a drink because I ate at 12 and what time is it it's two wait that clock is wrong oh, I gotta change that wait no it is almost two okay it's true it is almost two i'm still full all right uh i i could wear the outfit that i wore in the content i was creating but it's very dressy i haven't even thought of what i'm wearing this is the problem hang on the part that kills me about content is that when i wear stuff i'm coming when i wear stuff for content I can't always remember if I've worn it out, you see? Because there's the time that you wear it to get the content, and then there's the time that you wear it to actually go somewhere. And I don't know if I've worn this yet, or if I have, was it a while ago? Was it recently? I have no clue, but you know what? We're gonna put this dress on today. This is Amazon, it's cute. And what I love about it is that it's giving me space in my stomach because I feel full, oh crap. I have this, what the hell? You know what? I don't care. I don't have time to think about why what I did wear this. Where did I wear it to? Oh shoot. I wore it somewhere and it, it messed up like that. Oh my god, yeah, my stomach feels full. I'm just like, ugh. Yo, that is annoying. How you gonna do that though? How you gonna do that, love, huh? Now how you gonna go and do that 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 and do that? And I have my nipple pads on. And I be having to check because sometimes they be showing. See, this one is too high. But then again, my areola be, girl, what do you want to show? The nipple pad or the areola? Pick one, honey, because excuse me. Yeah, I don't want that to end up popping up and showing. I'm thinking of doing Patrick Ta face body situation. But then again, let me do some brown sugar oil. Brown sugar babe oil, honey, because blonde ambition. Wow, I've never smelled Clive Christian amber what's it called and Am what amber is it is there a Bl clive christian amber oh my god this is a, a, a inspired by clive christian amber something i can't remember either way i freaking love this it is strong it is bold it is me it is everything i need and more yo i feel so toned <laughs> you girl been out here working hard okay and getting toned and stuff yeah, baby. The back, the back is coming through and showing. Look, some of this oil is getting some of my phone. Some of this oil is getting on my on my outfit. Whatever. Here we are. This is nice for for lunch, right? Let's get it to lunch. I don't know where I wore this to. Or maybe I just wore it in content and I got it messed up. Hell, that could be it. I don't even. I think it was at home. I wore it at home. Yeah, I've not worn it out. And I got eye eyelash glue on it. Yeah, I was filming a video and I got lash glue. I hope my my nipple pad doesn't show in public. Hi. I gotta always check that. Or should I tighten? Tightening this is not gonna help me, is it? 
I don't want a tyke. Then I feel like a matron. I'm not a matron. I'm a dainty flower. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, you've seen this dress, right? Come on now. You've seen this. I wore it in white to the KG event. Anyway, situation. Okay, so let's move on. Oh, I have my feet too. So should I wear high heels? Oh my gosh. I should do a heel, right? I don't know what to do. Am I doing a heel? Am I doing a tan or gold? I think gold is too much. I think gold is too fancy. Am I doing this? Does this match? What did I, I wore this in a photo shoot at home. What did I wear? What did I wear? See, this is the confusion. What did I wear? I think I wore these in the photo shoot. I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't have time. And if you're wondering, oh my gosh, she's in the house, I sanitize my shoes. So I feel fine putting them on in the house. Although if you're not sanitizing your shoes and then you take off your shoes before you come in the house and then you put them on in the house before you leave, what's the point of taking them off? Cause when you put them on to get dressed, you put them on in the crib, you feel me? So it don't be making no sense. It don't be making no sense. How's that for grandma? Ooh, will this stay? No, this is not gonna stay. Did I wear this tan color? Oh my God. This, this is not tan, it's off-white. I don't know what I wore in the picture. I don't know. Oh, you're dark or I'm dark. I don't have time to go back and look either. Okay, here we are. And I'm standing in your presence, yeah. Cause your love is all I know. Oh, oh. Ah. You are the most high God. I will trust you forevermore. All your promises are sure. I will trust you forevermore. Hey, you are the God of trust. This is match, my God. I will trust you forevermore. Okay, here's the issue. Last time I wore these was Essence Fest. That's where I, did I wear this? No, I wore a different dress. But I wore these shoes at Essence Fest. And I remember feeling like they were too big on me. Dang. And my feet were sliding. That's what it was with these shoes. Should I put on flats? I mean, we're just going to lunch. I'm just going to be doing a lot of walking. And I've been to the place before, so it's going to have valet. I did my armpits earlier, but I've been sweating, so we're going to retouch. We're not going to go out with stale old armpits all right we're gonna refresh it this is the peter thomas here this is the product right here so after i've gotten the bacteria off of my i wasn't smelling but i'm not gonna chance it got the bacteria off now i'm gonna do lumi this is going to help and also provide what a nice scent? I don't know, because Lumi smells, yo. Lumi smells. So it's not necessarily, I'm not putting that on for the scent. I'm putting it on to add double protection. That's what it is. It's just a double protection. Lumi smells. It's coconut something, 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 but Lumi, Lumi smells. <laughs> These areolas are the bad. <laughs> yeah, if you've had a breast augmentation of any kind, well, it also, what also would factor in is, is if you're small like me, because I'm small. I don't even know what my size is. Am I an A or am I a B? Am I a B? I'm a B cup, right? Yeah, I'm a B. And I never was. Was I a B? No, I was never a B. I was a girl. We don't have time for this, okay? We don't have time for this, okay? Um, where we at? Let's go. Ooh, it's fragrance. What should I wear? I have so many options. I have some new things and some old things. What should I do? I don't know what I should do, but oh, I should have wore sweet smoke from Brown Sugar Babe. What did I just put on? I put on Blonde Ambition. Okay, I'm gonna do La Tafa, Honor, and Glory. This strong money statement everyone's gonna smell you and want to know they're gonna want to know what you have on and why <laughs> girl this is a statement scent okay we're gonna do the hair because i'm washing it anyway okay yes we're gonna get the legs what what else are we here for okay we're here for a good time just everywhere Woo! yes baby Oof. In my nose, in my throat. I'm so annoyed. My feet are sliding a little bit. These shoes are too big for me. And they're like wet. <laughs> it's my lotion. Ah! I almost walked out without my jewelry. I cannot believe it. Mm -mm. JBW watch. Oh, I recently got this. Oh, I gotta change the time. I gotta change the time. I'm so annoyed. Or is it real? Hold on, let me see. It says clock. What'd you call it? This clock ring. What time is it? 
two. Okay, no, this is correct. Okay, good. Even we got a little quack, quack. I said quack. I almost said quack ring. I'm so done. Can I do these two? I can do whatever the hell I want. Praise the Lord. Okay, and then we're going to put our Cartier stack on this side. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I chose to go with these sunglasses, just a little understated, softer. It's gonna do a tan or cream one, but no need. We'll just do these. All links are down below. I feel pretty. Hi. Hello. I gotta get my key for you. Here it is. It's a card, okay? Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Ooh. God, it's hot. <sighs> Lord. <laughs> okay. Hello. Thank you very much. Okay, Tama, I just walked inside here. Hi. There's two of us. Oh, yeah. She's here already? Oh, oh. I'm like, how did you know it was me? Okay, where is she? Get away. Right here. Oh, she went probably to the bathroom, but she's sitting right here. Oh, okay, all right, thank you. What 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 perfume are you wearing? Oh my gosh, I have okay, so I have a two things. It's a body oil called Blonde Ambition. I heard of that one. And it is a fragrance called Honor and Glory by Latafa. It's on Amazon. Latafa? Uh -huh. Oh, they're the, they're like the, the Arabian house thing. Yes, yes. Well, I don't know if it's a dupe or what, but it's a... Like, they have like, they have like, a top of Mousse uh, Yes. Yeah. That one is a dupe of, I believe, Food with by Tom Ford. Oh, okay. I, don't, I didn't know that it was a, a dupe. Oh, okay, okay. Is she here or here? Yeah, she's, she's right here? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, see? First compliment of the day. Ooh, I'm sweating. It should be illegal to be sweating and I just got here. Let me sit over here. Perfume, are you wearing? Huh? Sorry to be weird, but perfume are you wearing? Oh! <laughs> He's sorry. As the other guy just... In, I'm like, really I love perfume. Oh my god. And when you walk in, I'm like, sorry girls, I have to, get, I have to figure that out. Oh my <laughs> goodness. so good. Okay, so it's... It's actually a body oil okay. by a brand called Brown Sugar Babe. It's called Blonde Ambition. Okay. I know, it's so many things. I'm and like, let me write this. I know. And then, uh-oh. And then, uh, I should have showed the guy, but he was familiar. In case you're not familiar, I'll find it right now. Thank you. And then the fragrance that I sprayed on top is called Honor. It's Honor and Glory okay. by Latafa. I'm gonna show it to you right now. And I get so excited when people ask me because I love fragrance myself. So. Oh, I'm a bit. And so I just got into all the Creed fragrances. Oh, yes. I love wind flowers. You do? And I love Aventus for her. Aventus for her. So, mm -hmm. so I just got my husband Aventus for men. Ooh, yes. It smells so good. Yes, yes, yes. But yeah, so I But these are a lot more affordable. Okay, they smell the purple one, right? I, yes. I and I it. like it, but I'll be honest, I loved it way more in the store. Oh. Like now that I, and that's so disappointing. And for that price, you gotta return it. You gotta return it. I can't do I'm it. Like, I don't know why I don't have service here. And I also got Carmina. Ooh, I haven't smelled it. And I love it. You do? But you know what? It kind of smells old ladyish to me. You like, gotta bring those back. I can't do it. Mm -hmm. I don't, <laughs> you're I don't like, no. Like, for that price, I yeah, need to love it. Okay, here I am. Here, let me. Uh, and you are so stunning. Like, I love your vibe, your jewelry. You look so good. Okay, brown sugar baby. Honor and glory by Lee. Okay, so the oil is brown sugar babe. It's actually a new oil that I just okay. recently, I don't have a good service here, wow, that I just recently started wearing. It's called Blonde Ambition, and it's inspired by, what did she say? It's inspired by, oh my gosh, it's on my tongue. Anyway, Blonde Ambition is the name. When you go on the set, you'll see that okay. the oils are inspired by expensive fragrances. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, I can't think of the name right now. So is it super expensive? Or? No, the oil is $65. Okay. And then the fragrance is like 40 bucks. Okay. Yeah, that's why I said if you don't like the Creed, send it back. I would not keep <laughs> it like for that price. I would not keep it if I don't like it. No, no, no. Honor and glory. I'm going to show it to you. I have 
one bar. Do you have, you have bars here? Like, yeah, you can look it up. Honoring. Yeah, Honor and Glory by La Tafa. I don't have good stuff. Okay, here we go. It's, thir it's 30 bucks. Okay. How much is it? $30. Yes. It's a. Uh, this is. This is a little. Sorry, I'm getting her perfume. She's getting. Oh. <laughs> oh. Is that your I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is it? Probably. Well, <laughs> I walked over for one side. Okay, yeah, I think it's her. Yeah, I think it's so, so easy. Oh my god. Sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah. You look so gorgeous. Yes. Yeah. Did you find it? It's this. Cream gold looking one. 30 bucks. Okay, got yeah. it. Oh, what is that? Yes. Yeah. I told her to return good. that creed if she's not feeling it. Yes. No, not for that price. Uh, you said cream. Carmina? You said which one's the one so you said? Carmina. The one I'm wearing now is Queen of Soap, but oh, Queen of Soap. I, I, so I had the creed like, from a long time ago, which I had the love, which was a white bottle. Okay. And I loved it. Really? Like, obsessed. And so I just got married in March. So I was like, oh, I need like a. Like a signature, like, I, a signature scent. scent. Oh. So every time I smell it, and I bought it, and in the store I loved it, and then I wore it, and I'm like, dang it, just felt like it came off me quickly, that's, right? Yeah. And you're like, girl, that is not what I want. Not for that price. That much money. Yeah. And so then I tried doing like some of the oils on first, yes. like sprayed a whole. That's a thing. Scent. That's a thing. Still gone. So I was like, mm. okay. So when I smelled that, I was like, okay, I need to know. Yeah, because I smelled her right when I was coming through Did the door. Did you? Mm -hmm. Wait over there. Yeah. It's like a really strong, but good smell. Yeah, yeah. it's not overpowering. It's just I smell. Yeah, it yeah. good. Yeah, so I was like, sorry to be weird. Thank you. Was like, <laughs> no, no, it's not weird. I no, get it's that not weird at all. It's and I want to I wanna correct you. In case you go Google it, you don't find it. It's brown sugar babe, not baby. Okay. Yeah, because you, you're not going to find it. Yeah. And it's babe. blonde ambition. It's, it's inspired by another Clive Christian. Okay. It's inspired That's by Clive the, Christian. It's a, it's a pricey one too. Clive Christian, blonde amber, I think, or something like that. Okay. But this one is blonde ambition. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of times the dupes lately have been. Oh, they're good. Like I don't know if you more saturated than the actual. The, um, mm -hmm. What's that one? That, the Baccarat. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, there are a lot of dupes of that. Okay. Yeah, so there are a lot so of many. good dupes of that. All the dupes that I've tried to like, I don't know, they're there on TikTok and stuff. Oh, um, they have been good. But then I found this one. Um, I like the dossier. Is oh, it? oh, you do? Oh, uh, uh, I like the dossier. Sa saffron. saffron. Uh huh. Uh, okay. Amber saffron. Amber, yeah, okay. And okay. then I like Joe Malone's. I used uh, Malone? Joe Malone's Scarlet Poppy is complimentary to. Really? The, uh -huh. I have it. I, have I use them both because one is more spicy and one is more sweet. Okay. It smells so good. Yes. yes. It's so important. Yes. You have People to. Yeah. Like, that can just leave like an impression too. That turns heads. Yeah. Absolutely. That's a, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like once you open it, like, hold on. What is that? Here, well, if you love if you love fragrance, if you want, you can follow me on social. Awesome. I always yeah. talk about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yes. the, but if you if you do like the Baca, the Penthouse mm -hmm. by Versalis, and it's on that fragrance that it's like twenty five bucks, and it's Ooh. like a big thing of it. And every time I wear it, I get compliments. Versalis. Yes. yes, and I had the real Baca, and I never got compliments. On me. No. Put that on, everyone's like, "Ooh, are you wearing Baca?" I'm like. Yeah, good enough. Even Zara had a good dude. Yeah, I still have one. She saw your message. <laughs> <laughs> Siri uh, updated the thing and put RR. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to look that up now because um, yeah, I've I'll never heard of that one. The red bottle. Listen, if, if, and when you're told that you smell good, you know you got a good um, mix going on. Yes, so, right. So I appreciate yeah, I that. that. What? Oh, no. That's what I like to hear. Two, one, two. I mean, thank you. I 
I'm sure they're all like, damn, they've been here for a minute. I gotta get my ballet ticket. It was, it was so good. We've been here since three o'clock. Since three o'clock. Oh really? Literally. <laughs> you a good time. <laughs> well, very good time. Thank, Thank you. You have ballet, right? Oh. Hi. Hi, honey. Everybody has changed already. How do we we pay? Uh, what? How do we pay, cat? How much is it anyway? How long is your drive gonna be? Uh, good thing now there's no traffic. Like, yeah, there's no traffic now, so maybe 35 minutes. Okay, same. Yeah. Well, at least we beat the traffic. So yeah. Oh, we avoided it. Yeah, avoided it. Oh, did you send me the um the link of what you're wearing? I didn't, but I can. Okay, please. BMW? Good. Yes, me. Get in it. So good. You can still smell it? Mm -hmm. Stop. Oh my god, I was like, is it still there? I mean, I can just get in. Ooh, 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 not the wind blowing. <laughs> <laughs> not the wind blowing, baby. <laughs> yeah, dude, the wind gotta blow something good. That's how you do it. Yes. How much? The guy I wanted, the guy oh, that um, oh, parked oh, my vehicle. Oh, he's gone. Said, oh my god. What, two hundred dollars? Uh, I accidentally put two hundred. Yeah. <laughs> he said, "Oh my That'd god." That'd be so tragic. <laughs> I, I was like, oh well, thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna argue the point. Oh my god. Oh no, I don't. He doesn't know how to open the door. It probably isn't. See that card? Oh lord. It's not working? Ay, ay, ay. That card be acting up. Unless oh, they just is. don't know. Yeah, it's a card. It's when sometimes. you walk. Oh, a card? Mm -hmm. Oh, to open up the catch, catch, catch. They can't open it. All, All right. right. Oh my gosh. It was so we good to see you. We have to. And if you. You have my number. Let's keep yeah. the convo going, if anything. And yeah, all the things. Yeah. All right, girl. Bye. It's not working? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's supposed to just tap. Oh my god. I don't know what happened. But that's okay. My phone opens it too. That is so Oh here, let me give you Thank you. Oh this car. I don't know why this key ooh, 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 ooh. why this key wasn't working. Girl, we've been here since three o'clock. And why is it oh she left that was fast. Oh no, there she is. Why is it 741? <laughs> Yo, when you when you just vibe with somebody, when you vibe with somebody and the talking gets to talking, you don't know time. Time is just of no, of no, what's it called? No consequence? How do you say it? Time is no consequence, whatever the hell. Anyway, yeah, now I'm going home. I am back. It is 9.08 p.m. I'm so tired. Whew, I knew it. I knew that once I got, like when I get around, when I'm in this situation, my energy comes and I'm on. And we were literally there for, four and a half hours that is crazy that just goes to show you that when you connect with somebody you can talk for hours and hours and hours and of course we talked about all kinds of things it was so good and we really could have stayed there we really could have stayed there but we literally went from happy hour happy hour began at three until six and we went into dinner time because it was giving empty during the day and then they started to get real full and it was like what and they were nice went to Savoir Savoir what mm -hmm, that place they were nice, it wasn't like they were kicking us out or anything, but anyway, I'm so sleepy. That was just so good. I tell you, just the idea of unraveling everything and going to bed just makes me, just unraveling everything and getting ready for bed just makes me sick. This is the part I would just wish I can go like this and then I'm just ready to go lay down. So tired. There's something I wanted to tell you. Yeah, I need to go back to, I need to go to BMW and figure out what's going on with my, my car because that's annoying. Like, why are you doing that? I don't I don't have time to be dealing with this when I do things. Can you stop? My counter is such a mess from getting ready earlier and doing everything. I really need to clean brushes. So do I feel like doing that in this sponge? No, I don't because what? Oh, let me tell you this. So it dawned on me earlier and I need to share this with you about semaglutide. So my provider has always given me my own vial and then I draw my own injections. I draw my own syringes, as you call it, mm -hmm, my own syringes. But I know that there are some providers who draw the syringes for you. So if you're doing 0.25, they're drawing four or six, depending on how many weeks your, your vial is for, whatever you paid for, four, six, or eight. They're drawing the syringes for you and giving you the syringes, but not giving you the vial. I don't like that. I'm actually glad for how I've been getting it because there have been times where I, let's say, ordered six weeks of a product and at a certain you know dosage but then come sit come week and let's say i order another vial to continue doing the injections 
but then I'll find myself still using the old vial because there's still some in there and that happened literally I have a new vial that I was supposed to have used I think a week or so ago but I keep looking at my old vial and I'd be like wait I think that I can still get some stuff out of here I can still get some of the the product or the the fluid out of here so I just be moving it moving it moving it and then I'd be pulling 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 down the syringe and little by little it'd be coming inside the syringe so no can you imagine if you were not doing that and you had pre pre-dished out syringes that's just how I'm saying it to make it make sense for you and for me imagine that then your provider has all of that extra and what is he or she doing with it what are you doing with my vial are you giving it to are you giving it to other people because if you're not why would you just give me the vial why don't you give me the vial and let me take out all my doses why do you have it I don't like that so I just want to let you know what I do you can do whatever you feel I know that there are some providers who inject you I know that there are some providers who give you the vial and there are some providers who will give you just the syringes but just letting you know what I do because you wouldn't catch me you wouldn't catch me having somebody give me syringes that are already pre pre pulled pre uh distributed pre whatever you call it no nope. not gonna happen not gonna have it nope i'm not falling for the okie doke i paid for this give me my whole entire vial and let me draw all of it out and we're gonna go from there okay so i'm gonna let you know that in case you decide to go ahead and get that glue tied oh that rhymed oh wow ew, 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 ew. Okay, I just cleaned the brushes that I needed to clean. I used my Cinema Secrets brush cleaner, link below, because it cleans it quickly. It kills 99% of bacteria and it dries fast. No need to be sitting here using soap and all of that. Nope, nobody has time for that. Very, very quick. Oh, I got so many compliments on my fragrance today. What? The oil and honor and glory. What? Honor and glory. Oud. I almost said oud. Honor and glory. Yeah, but, but, I cannot. It is al oud, al oud. Honor and glory. Oh my gosh, I got so many compliments. Apparently, I engulfed the whole restaurant that's what i love if you don't well for me this is what i like if i don't engulf this place there's a problem there's a big issue and i love it i got so many compliments and i met someone she was very very sweet and maybe you're watching hey and she is gonna buy it but you gotta see this is the thing that would get me that gets me tripped up whenever someone asks me i have to sit and think wait okay there's an oil and then there's a fragrance it's not just one thing and I like to tell both things because you're going to go get just the fragrance and then feel like, wait a minute, no, this is not it, if you remember. And no, you need the oil and the fragrance, okay? You need the oil and the fragrance. And this is a good old, what, $30? It is so good. Oh, my God. I want to shower, but I just want to, I just want to smell it right now. It's such a sweet, delicious, woody Oody. this is good man this this is this is every day every month every occasion this is just wow i need to buy i need more of these and the the container feels very heavy i mean this is 3.4 ounces but the container itself is very heavy it just feels like a masterpiece together because our skin feels so dry I did my face at the sink but of course I'm gonna go shower and then I'll do my hair tomorrow I actually have a hair appointment tomorrow so that'll come later 
All right, this is my first time using this Skin Care Junkie Gentle Jelly Face Cleanser, which was cool. But what really helped was the cleansing balm because this got off all of the makeup, especially around my eyes. And I rubbed, you feel me? Because the liner, the mascara, the lash glue, you got to focus in those problem areas. You feel what I'm saying? So let's get this skincare going. I used to do my prescription today because I'm seeing some breakouts and it's time. This is the Innisfree Green Tea Caffeine eye serum i love it because this little ball right here is always cold so this feels cooling this feels good on the, on the skin not that the product itself is cooling but the, rolling this on the skin feels good i don't know where these pimples came from so close to my eye and i don't put my medicine there so those are gonna just have to go away on their own which is so annoying so this is my curology prescription i have zinc pyrithium clindamycin and niacinamide i actually wrote to my prescriber on curology i asked if i can go back on tretinoin because tretinoin is just so good right now is so good for the skin for a skin cell turnover smoothness healing skin that gets destroyed by uv rays and so forth it's just really good right here is so itchy I broke out. Mm -hmm. Do you see it? Yep. Today I, I was feeling itchy while I was at lunch, lunch last dinner, and I just knew I was breaking out. And then I felt these two. So yeah, that feels like rosacea. But I don't usually get. I'm just gonna take leftover and put it here. I don't usually get it so close to my eyes like that. But in the middle, yes, I be getting it. And I just put this all over my face because what? I usually will take the leftover to my neck and chest, but I still need the shower, so there's no point in doing that. That's just gross only my face is clean right now oh actually i did my treatment last night didn't i i did well here goes my day two in a row that's okay i'm gonna use this innisfree dewy glow jelly cream this is good i woke up feeling very hydrated on my skin it's a jelly like formula and i was very pleased i was like oh oops i mean you would think that this clear jelly won't do anything that it'll absorb and then it's gonna be dry in the morning no i woke up feeling very hydrated and what was shocking is that this prescription is drying. So I would normally do an emollient. I would do pretrolatum, which is petroleum jelly, on top of it to lock in the moisture. This looks like this because why? When I wash my face, I go on a circular motion. So it wipes off my hairline in a circular motion. So it looks crazy. Okay. The hairline is gone. Whatever. We're going to bed. So yeah, I normally put petroleum jelly on my face after my prescription, but I did this last night. And I woke up feeling really good. I mean, my skin was still feeling hydrated, so we're gonna do that today. Normally, I would put this neck and chest and hands, but I'm about to shower, so we're not even gonna do that. My skin is not clean. It's been outside in the elements. Okay, so skincare is done. Let's shower. to you last morning didn't I I don't even know uh, here I am I'm going to get my hair done I have not had my hair trimmed in a long time and it it's well overdue I'm well overdue it's I'm over 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 you know how you know some people might say I overstand I over need a hair, hair trim and it might even be a haircut who knows and I could tell from when I took my hair out the last time I had my braids in I had my braids in the St. Lucia braids I had in I had those in for a month and I could just tell after I washed it that the ends were feeling thin so it's time and I'm looking forward to getting it done so I'm going to someone that Marie goes to I've never met her never been there before but Marie's here but looking good so I'm gonna go to her and it's crazy because it's mad hot outside and I'm gonna get a silk press in order to get the trim because I do not want a wet trim no 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 you gonna cut up way too much so I want a dry trim you feel me and it needs to be silk pressed but I don't oh, I hope you can actually hear me oh the talking in the car I feel like it's gonna be a problem ah <laughs> I hope you can actually hear me so I want a silk press trim because I don't want no games 
Should I use a mic when I'm in the car? Oh, who wants to do all that? So I'm looking forward to it. I am not intending to maintain this silk press. I need to work out. It's been several days actually since I've worked out because I've been busy when I get up. I just don't have time. And I'd rather work out in the morning than later on in the day. But yeah, I don't plan on keeping it. You feel me? So it's just so I can get a haircut and I just am going to just do it. It's, it's too hot to be trying to maintain a silk press. And I'm not going to not work out because of a, a freaking silk press. And my edges look crazy because of, you know, last night when I washed my hair. And then this morning, I just touched up my skincare. I didn't wash my face all over again. I did shower and I did my scent again, my scent combo. Man, this is my, this is my go-to right now. I have so many scents, but this combo is my go-to right now. Guarantee compliments, so strong, so powerful. It's, again, it's the Blonde Ambition Brown Sugar Babe Oil and then Honor and Glory. Honor and Glory Latafa. Oh, so good. You gotta literally talk to me nice because, excuse me, you can't talk to me at all. I got my silk press and I love it. I went to Duana and it's my first time going to her. Marie goes to her like I was, did I tell you that or not? I don't even know. But it's my first time going to her and I love, I had to get a trim because it has been literally almost a year since I had a trim. I looked at my, my phone from the picture that was taken when I went last time. Oh my God, I'm starving. I gotta eat. Whew. Yeah, it's been a year and she gave me a trim and it looks so good. My hair is so straight. I had to go on this side for the part even though I have overstayed my welcome with this side part, but it just works with my head. It just works. And I'm so glad I found her because I wanna start doing different things to my hair. I love doing my own hair, yes, but it gets old and annoying after a while and then there's only so much that I can do. I wanna experiment with so many different things. So we gonna be doing that. Ooh, is that a white hair? Oh. We're going to be doing that, and I cannot wait. The press is pressed, okay? The press is pressed. My hair is thin, yes, but we have the length, and that's what matters. Ugh. So let's get out of here. This car is mad hot. Oh, Lord. Oh, God, this car is hot. All right. I need to find something to eat. I haven't even cooked. Oh. Who has time to cook when you have things to do? Me. I don't have time to cook. Like right now I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna film. I don't have time to cook. That's why I just buy stuff. And what am I gonna buy? Ooh, I should have used the restroom inside. I gotta use the restroom. I was so excited I didn't even use the restroom. <laughs>